Hello and welcome to the vlog. Um, today I'm gonna be doing orders. I'm gonna pack orders. I did not pack orders in my last vlog, like I said I was, but this one we are. We're gonna be packing orders. Um, I had started my little flower wall. This was supposed to be like a Garden of Eden type of thing. And uh, they just started falling down. Like they won't let me be great. And I just gave up. I'm just gonna leave it until they all fall down. Um, I guess, but yeah, that's what we're getting into today is packing orders. I'm also going to replenish my labels. Um, I designed some new ones and I'll show you like some of the stuff that I use to pack orders. All right, so I'm gonna start prepping the orders for my website and then I have like three orders on my Etsy right now. But I wanna show off this box that I got from Home Goods. I have my other one right here that I was using, but this one is big enough to have two rows. I have to go in and prep everything so I can put this side up as well, but yeah, it's bigger. The whole reason I even use these type of boxes is I'm trying to avoid using too much plastic. And these are made out of basically cardboard. And this was like, oh, there it is, $12.99. And I believe that floral one right there was $7.99. And I got those ones right here from Dollar General that I used to use. Those were like three bucks each. So yeah, I just <laughs> have been jumping from bigger to bigger. And I, what I also like about this one is that it closes all the way when I'm not using it. So, you know, dust doesn't get on it. And then here are my mailers. Um, so when I pack orders, I mostly use photo mailers, which I get from Amazon. They're seven by nine. I'll also link, uh, anything I get off of Amazon, I'll link it below. All right, so I use cello bags. Um, I get a thousand in a pack at a time. You can also get um, more environmentally friendly ones from enclosed.com that are just biodegradable. They're a little more costly, I think. I'm not really sure the exact amount that you can get, but they are, I believe the last time I tried it, it was like 200 at a time, so yeah. And then I have these, these freebies that I add to my orders. You can probably hear Penelope in the background. And then, oh, the stickers that I add to the back of these. Let's go make some. Okay, so I already have these pre-made um, designs. One is Hello Diva, it has my QR code, and it just says, I'm finally here, open me. Um, let me see what other one I have. This one that says, Hello Beautiful, I'm finally here, open me. And is that the same one? Oh, and then this one, Hello Diva, pretty things inside, open me. So, um, I'm gonna print out this one. Yeah, I'm gonna print out a couple of these ones for the order because I also still need to do like a TikTok that can be repurposed as a reel of me making these. Okay, so here I have my Munbin thermal printer. I also use this to print out my shipping labels. And so I use these for the labels that are gonna go on packaging, whether that's on the cello, bags that hold the stickers or on the exterior of the box or interior of the box like you saw before. So let me just print these out. 
Also, these are two and a, or 2.25 by 1.25. That's how big they are. So I'm just gonna do one as a test print to make sure it's where I want it. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. And so I'm gonna print like 20 more of these. And then normally I would roll these up and stick them in that container. But since I'm gonna make more, there's no point. I'm just gonna leave these out for fulfilling all these orders. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And I just stick it here on the back. Yep. And then I use these photo mailers to um, ship my orders in. The majority of my orders, since I do do stickers, um, go in photo mailers. And then I will just write the order number on the back and their first name so that when I go in to get the shipping labels, I can have them all in order and all that good stuff. All right, so this next order is all notepads. So I'll be using this box. Normally I would use the tiny brown box, but there's more than three in this pack. So they're all B grade. So let me get those out. We got Inner She Wolf. Actually here, I already have one. Then we got You Are The Vibe. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. And my AC is going, I gotta keep going. <laughs> so uh, this customer got just nothing but notepads and they're all B grade, which means there might be something slightly off, whether that's the colors or you know the cut or um, just various things, but they still overall work and function as they should. Um, so this is Beauty and Brains. Just Peachy, Unapologetically Ambitious, You Are the Vibe, and Inner She Wolf. I only have a few of her left. Also, I keep my packaging minimal. I don't um, go overboard as far as all of this. I'm not gonna wrap this. I'm gonna stick some stuffing that I've recycled from the orders that I've received for my inventory. And I'll put um, tissue, a white tissue on top of here and it's good to go. All right, so this next one is a Pandora packet, um, which is just 10 random items from the oopsie bin. So these may have gotten caught in the machine. They might be a color is wrong. There might be a slight uh, misaligned cuts or scratches on here, but like all the stickers aren't affected. So there's no reason that can't just put them in like a clearance bin. So that's essentially what it is, is it's a clearance packet. And it's called the Pandora Pack because that is based off of one of the tiers that I had on my Patreon. So all I'm gonna do is double check um, that there's 10 in this pile. So, or it's discontinued stickers as well. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I use this to um, put 
sticky tape or glue on the back of my wraps. My wraps, I use my um, Epson presentation paper to make these or just any kind of cardstock. So, Pandora pack, happy glam planning, that's my thing. And so I'm gonna put them in these type of cello bags because I'm trying to get rid of them. That's another way to use these for is to get rid of stuff that you don't use anymore or don't like so because the writing is written on the wrong side it should be on the back side because this is where we're gonna flip it over to seal it and um i like these type just because like these are the type where once it's sealed it's sealed nothing's getting in there and that's all we got Okay, so the next person got nothing but sticky notes. So I'm gonna use a tiny brown box. And let's see. They got two beauty and brains. So that's what that looks like. Then they got one, you are naturally dope. Let's see how I wanna put these in here. And then they got two, you are the vibe. So I think I'm gonna just stack them all like that. Then we got our thank you card. I get these from gotprint.com and also Vistaprint. You can get them from there as well. Stick in some filler. So like this will help protect it as well. I'm not, I don't think any more room can fit in there. So I don't know if I'm gonna put a white piece of tissue paper in there, but I don't think it's necessary. I also sign all of my um, packing slips with thank you. We do a double check off or check it off. And then we also highlight. So here is an actual sticker order. They got the Ladybug Diva Doll Kit. And then Sunflower Diva Doll Kit. Sunflower is one of my favorites. Um, she is an OG. And got the Wash Day stickers. Naturals know about that, we all do. And then Danielle. So. Gonna get one of my wraps. Nice and simple. And then now the thank you card, and then we'll get a freebie, freebie sticker.
seal it up. My bad. Voila! Stick it in one of these photo mailers and she's ready to go. Come on. All right, so this next person got two sticker sheets and a notepad. So they got Raquel, she's a summer diva. And they got Perry from the Birthstone collection. She is August. So it's gonna end up in one of these boxes. I don't have anything smaller. Come on, girl. Right. Oh, that's what it looks like. Stick it in there. Hold on. Then we got the notepad. This is an A2 version. So that's what they selected. Basically, the reason it's an A2 is because the colors were off when I got them and they had to reprint them. Um, these were the wrong color Like this is supposed to be a green color and it's coming up blue It was supposed to be like a blue green And I didn't like that so they had to remake them And for the back of my notepad, I use my um, no issue uh, stamp To stamp the back. I keep talking about I'm gonna get a um embosser one day i just haven't ordered it yet and so yeah that's it just stick it in there so yeah. i just pull it all so that we have this extra here put it in there and then we'll put the stuffing on the side so that it doesn't move around. I just need that little bit of extra for the stuffing to sit on so it's not putting too much pressure on the actual notepad. And like I said, I just use this stuffing that I have gotten from other orders. All right, so that was the one that I just had to print off a sticker sheet for. Um, they got Jay. She's also a fan favorite. Um, Beach, please. And then Mo. So this is the scale that I use for my orders um, off of Amazon. It holds up to 50 pounds. So yeah, I really like it. It definitely becomes necessary after you start moving to boxes. Okay, so like I said, I use my Munbin thermal printer, which I also got off of Amazon for my um, mailing labels, which I'm about to print right now. Okay, so this is my last order that I'm going to show. It's an Etsy order. Um, it's they're, They tend to be smaller. So she got Beach Please, 
and Janelle. These both are Summer Divas. And she also got a die cut sticker. She picked Lola. This is based off of my friend. And so on the back, I put, let's see, I put um, another sticker that has my website and I also uh, put a slit. You can get this off of Amazon. It's called Slice for die cut stickers like this where you wanna help people, especially people with nails, to um, remove the backing. And just like with all orders, a freebie. And then the only difference is they get this thank you card. So there's just slightly different information on the back. Um, and I keep these pretty neutral since um, my Etsy shop is not geared just the since my Etsy shop is not just geared towards black women, whereas my website is. Put our exterior sticker, and that's it. All right, so once these are done, you know, here are my Etsy orders. I like to put my artwork on them. They're already sealed. They have these kind of tabs to pull. Um, but I make these and um, kind of hate the paper because it doesn't always pull up correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just use these and voila. And that's it. And then we'll drop them off at the post office. And I'll also check my post office box while I'm there. Bye.